so excited, Ford is launching a new Mustang, and here's the commercial they used to launch it. 55 years ago, built for freedom, power, and rebellion. And just when you think you know where they're going. That sound is such a visceral part of the Mustang heritage. It's just freaking awesome. I mean, listen to this Shelby GT350. GT500. And the new Mustang, the Mach-E, listen to that. What is that, a cat pissing in the litter box? How am I supposed to get excited about that? Does it sound like a cat pissing in a litter box? Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. Where does that fit in the visceral part of the Mustang heritage? And please, don't come after me with they're gonna pump great engine audio into the cabin. I mean, that's like the equivalent of your mom telling you you look handsome. Seriously. So if you're still trying to figure it out, this right here is the turd that's going to ruin the Ford Mustang. Do something unexpected. The all-electric Mustang Mark E. The newest member of the family. And no. I'm not just saying it's going to ruin the Ford Mustang and potentially the entire Ford brand just because it's an all-electric vehicle. There's a lot more to it than that. So let's give you a little bit of context. A few years back, Ford said that they were going to eliminate their cars from their entire line and produce basically all SUVs. They of course said that all the cars would be gone, but the Mustang would survive. They weren't going to take away the beloved Mustang. Here's the problem with the strategy. You're essentially eliminating all the gateway drugs that can eventually lead the person to the Mustang, assuming they really ever had the intention of keeping it anyways. Young enthusiasts start out driving small economy cars, like this. And then maybe they move up to something like this, or this. This is not a vehicle for young enthusiasts to get excited about. So by eliminating this and this, you're taking away all of the things that would lead someone to buy this, or maybe even this. Furthermore, if kids don't have this, or this, or this as their enthusiast gateway cars, they're going to turn to cars like this, or this. And that means that Ford's not going to have those people in the pipeline who are excited to own the Mustang. And you've promised that you're going to keep the Ford Mustang. And then you deliver something like this. First of all, you've got 55 years of history telling us what the Ford Mustang is. Why would you go and destroy that by delivering a car that is so obviously not a Mustang. Now for a car enthusiast like me who already got the news that all the gateway cars are going to disappear, at least we had the solace of knowing that Ford was committed to continuing to keep the Mustang heritage alive. But now the new Ford Mustang is some kind of bizarre monstrosity of a truck crossover with an electric engine that delivers absolutely nothing except for potentially performance that was such a huge part of the Mustang's first 55 years. I'm sorry, but for me, Ford is making a huge misstep. I don't have a problem with the Mach-E as a car, but it's not a Mustang. You have other labels that you're not using. You certainly could have called it the Taurus-E or something else that could have still tied it back to the Ford heritage and history of the brand, but not tainted the Mustang, the heritage and the history of 55 years of telling us exactly what a Mustang is and then delivering this big fat turd. The Mach-E might be an absolutely amazing vehicle and it might have fantastic performance, but at the end of the day, this car is not a Mustang. There is so much of the Mustang spirit and heritage that is missing from this car that I really have to question whether Ford as a whole even understands the people that love and keep this brand going. And if the Chevy guys aren't careful, they're gonna get screwed the exact same way. There's been recent discussion about them taking the Corvette and making it a full line. That's right, they could eventually taint the Corvette brand by making a Corvette SUV. These people just don't seem to get it. The Corvette is a sports car built for working people. That's the brand that has value. That's the brand that they've built for the last 50 years. Why would you ruin that? For the Mustang and the Corvette, 
That's like Chick-fil-A deciding to sell cheeseburgers. It's not part of their brand. It's not who they are. People come to Chick-fil-A because they want chicken sandwiches. People go into a Ford dealership to buy a Mustang are never going to leave with a Mach-E because it's not a Mustang. People who go into a Chevy dealership to buy a Corvette are never going to leave there with an Expedition because it's not a Corvette. Now, I certainly hope that Ford and Chevy get their head out of their ass and understand who the passionate people, the car folks are that drive these brands and have that passion. Because if they don't, we might lose them all. And that would be a real shame. And all you awesome car lovers out there, leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite thing about the Mustang is. You want to see my take on the Tesla Cybertruck? You can check this video out right here. Or this one is just one that YouTube thinks you'll like. For the Love of Cars is the name of the channel. If you like this sort of content, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.